Hey everyone, welcome back. Chris McCormick joined by Andrew Oldno, and today we are at the TaylorMade Kingdom in Carlsbad, California, and we are talking all things QI35. So Andrew, first of all, thanks for having us out here. Beautiful spot. Definitely yeah. uh, calling this an office is not a bad thing. We love this type of weather. We love to do interviews out here. You can't beat it. Love that. Living in the desert, coming over here, awesome. So. Yeah. QI35, we've got four heads coming this year, but before we dive into the models, already getting buzz on the interwebs, why QI35? Yeah, so QI was the quest for inertia, QI10 was a sorry for trying to get to the 10K moniker. We wanna give every golfer out there as much inertia as possible. That's, you know, forgiveness, if you will. Um, and then the 35, we wanna be the leaders in three categories of innovation, and that's you know, form, function, and fit. We wanna have the best design products, we wanna have the best engineered products, and then we also wanna be the best retail fit partner for all our fitters out there. Um, and then the five are the five different heads the way we can fit every golfer out in the world and so we have a max head which is our 10k head we have a max light for uh, lighter swing speeds people are looking for to gain swing through a lighter product um, we have our core line which is our standard qi 35 which is like as you know, a 9k driver so again it's very forgiving uh, with a large uh, distance between the, the weights so we can move weights to give like maximum forgiveness and then we have our ls which is our low spin uh, tour level driver and so between those four um, the last piece of it is we have a select fit part so our first launch monitor enabled driver it's got fit markers built into the carbon fiber underneath the pu it's usga legal but we're just putting in our select fit parts to start um, but again we want to give um, every fitter out there more information to give better results for fitters being a gc quad user i'm going to have to put that set of heads on my christmas list absolutely oh that sounds awesome so let's dive into drivers what are we going to be looking at with qi35 and what kind of new tech is under the hood here yeah, so we are still on that quest for inertia. QI35 Max is still a 10K product, but now we're looking at launch conditions. We want to make sure, again, like, you know, every golfer needs as much forgiveness as possible, but we know we all have different launch conditions. Some people have a descending blow angle and create a lot of spin. Other people have an ascending blow angle, like launching the ball out there um, with less spin. And right, so we want to make sure we have a line of product where um, not only are we fitting golfers, but we're also trying to lower the center of gravity on the product as well. In the past, we've always looked at you know forgiveness and speed as opposing forces and you sort of have to compromise between those two with a carbon wood technology we're able to lower the center of gravity in all our products but not lose the inertia not lose the forgiveness of the product and so we now have products that launch higher uh, with less spin across larger areas of the face we're unlocking more potential for every golfer uh, while still having high performance high forgiveness products at the same time so faster, more forgiving. More forgiving and faster for sure. Yeah, and when you go on launch monitors, you'll see the difference, uh, especially on the Max product. We see a lot of higher handicap golfers, people are searching to find center face. A lot hit low, low toe areas, and so we were seeing a little too much spin in that. This year, with this product, by lowering that center of gravity, we're able to lower the, the spin rates across the whole face by about 200 RPMs. Okay. Those last 200 RPMs are probably the hardest to get, right? And so now we're able to get that in that product. So now we've got a more forgiving product, and you're seeing like um, better low face impact uh, numbers as well as the whole area of the face and so we're able to give you know somebody who's creating too much spin with a product less spin um, so you still hit it far as well as hit it straight and that's really what it comes down to nice so uh, brief rundown new technology being incorporated into these heads so we'll just kind of go down the line start at ls and just kind of work our way down so qi10 ls qi35 ls what can a consumer expect to see as far as just improvements and new additions in technology yeah so the qi10 ls had a sliding weight uh, we've eliminated the sliding weight we put pinpoint TAS weights or trajectory adjustment system weights um, it'll come with a standard 13 gram in the back and two three grams in the front heel and toe because we're not using a sliding system we actually move that weight further so you'll see bigger differences between moving weights uh, which means to a fitter I can fit you faster and that's the one thing we're seeing with our tour reps uh, working with our athletes the fitters are more efficiently fitting each golfer um, they're able to do more with these weights so uh, even some of our first tests with the 
like Tommy Fleetwood was one of our first players that we tested with. It was really cool. So we moved the weights around. He immediately noticed a difference. Like put it back, you know. And he's like, Chew, put the, you know, get the drill out. Let's 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 fix this. So right. we're able to fit better with that product than we have in the past. We have very similar numbers with the weight in the back in terms of the QI10 to QI35 LS. Um, but we also now can move more weight forward, and so we're getting like really low spin locations with weights. So anybody who has again that descending blow that creates a ton of backspin, or somebody has really high swing speed, high ball speed, which equates to like a lot of lift, uh, we can lower those numbers so that you don't get that ballooning ball flight where you lose distance. And so we're able to do more with that driver than ever before. Core head for QI10 was a monster. So I'm assuming that is sticking around as far as just how good that head was for QI35. I mean, new product that is coming off of the heels of a product that's already great. What do you do to make it better? Yeah, if that was a monster, this was a beast. We did a lot with this product. We changed the shape. Uh, this is now a 9K driver, where last year was about 8.4, so a ton more inertia. Okay. We've also lowered that balance point by over a millimeter, which like doesn't sound like a lot, but we would lower the max by half a millimeter. We saw about 200 RPMs of, of better numbers. Um, so we're seeing better numbers across the face. Um, it's a higher inertia shape. We've done more with that product than the other two. Um, it's almost like two or three years of innovation into one product, where you see now with the weights in the back, you're gonna see much tighter dispersions on average for every golfer out there with 95% um, consistencies we're seeing about 13% tighter dispersions and when you put that weight in the front we're seeing about five yards longer for everybody who's actually tested it so far so you get a longer driver in one position you get a more accurate driver in the other position and, and we're just seeing um, every fit we're doing that it's, it's doing a better job than what QI 10 was doing perfect and if it's an improvement over what we saw in the core head in the QI 10 excited to hit it excited to get it in the bays now go Going into Max product, you had already kind of alluded to the fact that we're maintaining that 10,000 inertia, but now we're also increasing speed. Yeah. So walk us through, I mean, just the evolution of that product. You got to the 10,000, super stable product, and now we're adding the speed component. Yeah, so as you get more stable, the way you do that is you move the center of gravity further away from the face, right? So you create a, a longer distance between there. The impact zone is and where the center of gravity is, right? So that helps with that resist the twist. As you do that, though, if you look, you know, because clubs have, are at loft, um, the way they, the center of gravity projects to the face, what we call balance point. So if you took the head off the shaft and you balanced the face onto a point, you would see that traditionally almost every single driver we've ever measured is above like the center of the equator of the, of the face. Right. And as it goes deeper, it gets higher, right? So it gets harder and harder with a high inertia products to have a lower CG. Sure. Um, so what we're doing is we're looking at balance point as a major contributor to performance, right? Because the balance point on the product is where all gear effect happens. So if you can lower that, you're going to see um, you have more areas of the face where you can loft, and then because of gear effect, that creates less spin. So you get more areas of the face where you launch it higher with less spin, which equates to longer drives. And so that's really been the focus of our high inertia products is how do we lower that CG um, without moving the CG forward? Because you know it's really hard to move move everything back in one direction where there just isn't a lot of product there. So that's exactly where our inertia generator is, that big heavy weight in the back, is perfectly in line where the center of gravity is and we're pulling all that extra weight deep and low in the face. There's other ways you can do it, like you could take the crown and just drop the crown down, but now you make a really bad aerodynamic product. So then you, right. slower, you swing it slower, right? And we're seeing that across the board. Our tour players are picking up, you know, almost a mile an hour of club head speed, which is equating to like one and a half to one three quarter mile an hour of ball speed, sure. just because the arrow is so much better in these products. So we've got good aero, we've got low center of gravity, so we've got high inertia. Um, and again, with the carbon face technology, we're getting like lightweight, fast faces. And so we, you put all that together, you know, it's the minutia of all these little details that create better product. And, you know, each year that we work with the carbon fiber technologies, our fourth generation of full carbon woods, uh, we just get better at understanding the how to make the product better, how to engineer it, and even how to manufacture it, which is really important. And we're at the point now where it can really unlock a lot of performance. New addition to the family, Max Light. Yep. So this is going to be kind of geared towards that intermediate to slower club head speed player, somebody that may need some help with launch and spin, correct? It's a combination of that and also swinging on plane. And the better you swing on plane, the faster you swing. And so we're seeing big upticks in ball speed just with a player who, when they, when they swing back, they would sort of lose the club head because it was just too heavy. And now they're not doing that. We've, 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 we've reduced the whole total package of the product by about 25 grams of the driver, wow. um, which allows them to stay on plane, which allows them to swing better, uh, make more pure contact. And we're seeing gel 
jumps and ball speed in between three and 10 miles an hour ball speed with the, the, the players that we've been testing so far with slower swing speeds. And for that player category, that is a huge game. So just to put it in practical application, I mean, a mile an hour ball speed typically equates to how many yards of carries for that player? Yeah, about three or four yards of extra distance, yeah. So if you gain three miles an hour, you gain quite a bit That's of distance huge. difference. Yeah. That's huge. Excited to see that Yeah. Uh, come into the fitting bay and see that player have that aha moment of almost like going in a time machine. It's unbelievable, yeah. When you swing on plane and you generate that ball speed, um, you just uh, everybody just, their eyes light up. Absolutely. You know? We want to make sure we make product for every golfer out there too. So moving into Fairway Woods, tour head. So all titanium head like we saw in the QI-10. Yeah, very similar shaped head, a compact titanium head. Uh, we've changed the weighting configurations this year. Uh, in the past, we've had a sliding weight. We still want to have looks like a sliding weight. Um, it's an actually an asymmetrical weight, so one side's square and the other side's tapered. You can actually unscrew it completely, take it out, reverse it 180 degrees, spin it 180 degrees, put it back in the head, and then move all that weight forward. So we're able to move it further than we could with just a single um, sliding weight. And then we also added a loft sleeve into our seven wood, right? So now we have a three, a five, and a seven wood. That's um, fully cabin. adjustable and again we this is the year where we put adjustability into our fairy woods we're going to bring that tour level experience to the consumer um, be able to tweak lofts as well and launch conditions um, you know we are the leaders i believe in the industry when it comes to fairy woods you look on tour uh, we won seven out of the eight signature events we won um, every major in terms of fairy wood count as well as the olympics right so our products perform really well and so the next step was to like not lose performance but add more technology and so that's what we've done this year. We've changed our speed pockets to be in line with impact. We've changed our swing waist to be in line with the ball and impact. Uh, we've changed our face uh, thickness details. And so we're seeing, we've actually increased ball speed uh, as well as give more adjustability. Nice, the adjustability component's huge, especially incorporating that loft sleeve and not only into the tour head, but then also into the core product and the max product. Right, yeah, so in the core, you're gonna see it in a three, a three HL and a five. Uh, we do make a bonded seven wood in core. And then in our max line, you're gonna see it in three and five. And then we do make a bonded uh, seven wood and nine wood. Seven wood and nine wood. Yeah. I, I've got my eye on a nine wood, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we see that as a trend on tour and we see the trend in retail too. So uh, we're looking to expand our fairway wood lines to make sure we have the right products in there and the right lofts, um, as well as making our rescues line as clean as possible. So last year, you know, QI, we had three lines of rescues. This year we have two. So we eliminated the tour one because we're seeing more fairway woods on tour. Sure. Um, and then we, what we did with our QI 35 rescues, those are all have loft sleeves in them. It's a slightly different loft sleeve because of the, the shafts are a little, you know, like larger in diameter. So it's a, three degree loft sleeve versus a four degree, so one and a half each direction. Um, and then our max line are all bonded because that's really about replacing irons to find good distance gaps uh, with long irons for those type of golfers. And when we were looking at the fairway wood heads, I mean, the depth of the face kind of progresses from tour down through the core, through the max. And I'm assuming depth on that tour head is really geared towards that player that's using that three wood as an alternative tee shot. Absolutely, yeah, and we see the type of players, right? Like really good golfers, um, look for different types of conditions to play their fairway woods in. They're hitting them off tees, out of rough, off the deck. You know, they, they have the ability to hit more areas of the face and, and get the performance out of it. When we look at the max player, it's really about peak heights and being able to get the ball in the air. And so lower profiles, lowering the center of gravity, making sure the center of gravity aligns with the golf ball is really important with those as well. Um, so, you know, different player types dictate different shapes. And so we really focus on that. Oh, like I said, looking forward to seeing these actually get to the marketplace, get into the fitting bay, into the fitting environment, see how players respond to the new shapes, the new tech, and all the adjustability options that we have as fitters. So, I mean, for that, I say thank you. Yeah. And also thank you for hosting us. This has been great. So, any comments on new QI35 family, make sure to leave a comment below, like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.